if you could spend a day as mm. any profession, which profession would it be? Okay, that's that's kind of hard. What profession? Right. Yeah, because I chose the profession I wanted to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, think... we kind of fell into dream jobs, which is pretty awesome. Right? I think that that's definitely something to every day feel blessed and happy about. I, I'm, I'm always grateful to be a streamer that gets to play games with you for 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 a living. That's that's absolutely insane every time I think about it. Yeah, it is really incredible. Like we get to just show up, we make our own schedules. We're like, what do I want to do for the week? We get to actually like channel our passion into everything rather than just being told by someone, sign these forms, do these math <laughs> equations, fill out all of the paperwork. You are a cog in the machine. Cog. Um, cog, yeah. I think, I think for a profession, I think part of me definitely has always wanted to give back to people for being so kind because I think that I am partially the way that I am because of the kindness that strangers have given me like teachers mm. have all like like particularly particularly teachers mm. um, I think that some teachers don't have any obligation to be as kind as they were right Surely. A good teacher can absolutely change your life, whereas a bad teacher, it just yeah. feels like a waste every time you're in their classroom. But yeah, good teachers can absolutely stick with you for the rest of your life and change the course of your future. Absolutely. For sure, I see that. Two of my favorite things were like biology and literature, mm. but they were they were never like actually trying to get you to learn about the stories and learn how to interpret things. Instead, they would like put the book in front of you where it's like, yeah, see, the textbook says this is what it means. And it's like... So you just want me to memorize this. This is just like a history exam rather than an English literature exam. They're like, yes, learn the answers. That's what you need. It's like, that's not English literature. That's not interpretation. That's not fun. Yeah, that's Ugh. just that's just giving you a chore to do. And then it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it just kills everything you actually enjoyed about it. It's the same for mathematics. I There was like a couple of teachers throughout my entire like school life where they actually taught you mathematics in a fun way where they would like give you visual representations of everything whereas other people will be like here's the formula write it down that's what you need blah 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 yeah Sucks. going back to your question about what i would be i think i would probably be a teacher i think um i think one of the most rewarding things that a person can do is teach somebody else how to communicate with the world around them so I guess that yes. would be an English teacher. I know that there have always been people who struggle with learning English, you know, people who come from like another country and then just setting foot into a new place where everybody else speaks a different language. I mm. definitely would do my best had I been like an English teacher to help students who were who are struggling with such things so that they could better uh, interact with the world around them. I think that's one of the greatest gifts a teacher can do. That's really sweet. Because, yeah, there are so many people that, like, end up moving around and don't quite have the resources. So, yeah, like, an ESL teacher always helps so much. Being able mm. to help them pick up their level so they can actually interact with everyone. And then, once they get to a certain level, then they can properly integrate and start to develop on their own and learn new things. But, yeah those basic first steps of helping you like get accustomed to the language and being able to understand like the weird ass rules we have for grammar and shit mm -hmm. <laughs> that's such a nice idea god and then why are you such a puppy dog i i like i said it's because of the kindness that people gave to me like at some point at some point uh i at some point i had to learn english and i knew how hard it was a little bit and mm. uh you know and that's, I guess, part of the inspiration. And I, because I know that people who learn English or people who learn like a second language, they understand how to learn it as, as, as it being like their second language. And it really mm. helps out a lot. Like now they are able to give back and it's just, it's like a whole big paying it forward, whole big community of, of kindness. It's, it's, it's honestly, one of the most inspirational, beautiful things I've ever, you know, been a part of or been able to witness. So it's good stuff for sure. That's so sweet. Yeah, I agree with that. Being able to like give back to people and help people, yeah, make more friends and then they'll be able to actually chase whatever dreams they have in their life. Right? It's so, it's so cool.